In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the meshing capabilities of Gmesh Mesher inside Prepomex on shell geometries. For this reason, we will first open a file with using file import command, and this file was prepared for this reason. This file is called Gmesh Shell. Select the file which is contained in a Prepomex folder and a subfolder models, and just confirm by OK. As you can see, in this file there are uh, seven parts and there are five very simple parts. There, is, uh, there are two triangular uh, surfaces or three-sided surfaces. There are two four-sided surfaces and a five-sided or a multi-sided surface. Additionally, we have two, uh, let's say, band shells. And these two shells are a little bit different. The blue shell, the left shell, has one, two, three, four, four-sided faces and one face with a hole. And that's why, uh, despite the outer border, outer border being four-sided, this face cannot be meshed by a transfinite mesh constraint. On the right-hand side, we can see a band surface, which is split into patches, and all of those patches are four-sided surfaces, so a transfinite mesh constraint can be used. Let's first set up the sizing constraint, mesh, mesh constraint for those parts. Uh, Double-click the mesh setup uh, in the tree, select uh, meshing parameters, and in the graphical window select all seven components. Set the highest, so the maximum element size, size to 20, and the minimum element size to 10. The rest of the setting, settings will be default, so just confirm by OK. We'll first take a look at how to mesh those simple shapes. Double-click Mesh Setup Item again in order to create or enable Gmesh meshing of the shell components, and this Mesh Setup Item is called Shell Gmesh. We can select all of those five simple components at the same time. Now what we'll try to do, just a preview how the mesh of uh, those parts looks like. When we turn off the transfinite mesh, so just select the transfinite three-sided faces, turn it off, and transfinite four-sided faces, and set it to no. Uh, hit the button preview, and we'll see how the mesh looks like. We see that all the parts will, were meshed by a triangular mesh. So what kind of algorithm is used is defined by to-do meshing algorithm and multiple choices can be selected here. I will just keep the default selection frontal Delaunay algorithm. Now we'll change the transfinite three-sided faces to yes. Hit preview button again and take a look at the result. We can see that now the three-sided faces are meshed with a transfinite mesh and that the mesh is uh, much more ordered than before. The same can be done for four-sided faces. Let's go to the setting, transfinite four-sided faces, and turn this setting to yes, and hit the preview button again. Now we can see that also the four-sided faces were meshed uh, in a very orderly way, so in a transfinite way, but still there the mesh is uh, created out of triangular finite elements. The same goes for this multi-sided surface, so it's not three or four-sided, so the transfinite meshing constraint doesn't work here at all. Now we'll try to recombine those uh, triangles into quadrilaterals, into quads. So instead of recombine algorithm none, we will select a default algorithm in uh, Gmesh, which is called Blossom. So just select Blossom and click Preview again to see how the mesh will look like. Now we can see that the triangles were merged into quadrilaterals and that the meshes for three-sided and four-sided faces are actually structured mesh meshes, while for the five-sided multi-sided surface, we have a mesh which is quadrilateral, but it's not 
uh, structured or ordered. There are a couple of um, rectangles or a couple of quad elements which are of uh, poor quality and the quality of the quadrilaterals can be defined by the setting of recombine mean quality value. So if we increase this value for instance to 0 0.7 and hit preview again we'll see that some of the quadrilaterals are now uh, remain split and remain triangular finite elements. So using this setting we can control how much of the triangles are converted merged into quadrilaterals. For those simple shapes we actually uh, obtained a very nice uh, meshes and we are satisfied with these meshes so we'll confirm the setting with OK. We'll continue to set up the mesh for those two shells and we'll create another shell uh, gmesh um, setup item. So double click mesh setup, select shell gmesh and select both of the shells. Just click preview to see how the mesh will look like. We can see that for the top surfaces of both parts the mesh is transfinite while at the bottom part where, where there is a hole, the bottom surface, on the left shell we see that the transfinite mesh is not possible, while on the right hand side we got a transfinite mesh with all those patches being four-sided. Now we can turn on the recombination algorithm, the recombine algorithm and hit preview again to see if we can get nice quadrilateral mesh for those two parts. On the left hand side where there is a hole we have a mesh where we can control now the quality of the quadrilateral elements using the recombine um, setting because um, here the transfinite and recombine mesh is not applied, cannot be applied. So I'll use a setting of 0 0.7 to change some of the quadrilaterals back to triangles and on the right hand side we can see the transfinite and recombine mesh is uh, resulting in a structured mesh. I'm now happy with all those these settings, I'll just confirm by OK. And as a last step I'll generate the mesh for all seven parts. Select all of the parts at the same time, right click one of them and uh, select the command create mesh. After meshing we'll be moved to the finite element model uh, tab and we can see now the mesh of all those uh, parts is created and uh, mostly all the surfaces are transfinite and recombined and some of them, two of them are multi-sided faces and they cannot be meshed in this structured way. With this, the this video about shell mesh meshing is finished.